On an external halyard, the retainer rings are hooked to the rope along with the flag. Be sure to inspect the rope itself to make sure it is in good order. It shouldn't be getting too frayed or worn out, and nothing should be missing. The rope should also still be very strong. The rope on these bigger poles is a wire core rope. That means there is a cable running through the middle of it, and that makes the rope much stronger and more durable. Before attaching the new flag, take some time to untangle the rope. Sometimes the new flag you are raising doesn't quite match the hooks on the rope. This may be because the new flag is a different size or that the hooks may have slipped. If this is the case, you will need to adapt. It's easy to reposition the hooks. Push the hook out of the loop and pull it off the rope. Here you can see the wear and tear where the hook used to be. Push the rope together like this, slip the rope through the hook, and then loop it back around the hook. Pull it tight and hook it to the flag. It's now closer to where it should be. Remember, if one hook is off, you may have to reposition several of them. Don't be afraid to position the bag so it's easier to get the flag on the halyard. This hook goes on the retainer ring as well as the flag. Remember, if you ever need to let go of the rope to give the other guy a hand, be sure to wrap it a few times around the cleat so that the rope doesn't get away from you. Sometimes doing all of this can be trial and error until you get the hooks in the right place. When you raise the flag, make sure the rope is not hooked on anything. Go ahead and raise the flag to the top of the pole. Have your flag catcher move the container away from the pole as needed. That way, as the last part of the flag comes out of the container, your catcher can keep it from touching the ground. It takes some strength to get this large flag to the top of the pole. Both people can work together, pulling hand over hand. Once the flag is at the top, wrap the extra rope around the cleat. The rope you pull up with needs to be wrapped first. Pull it as tight as you can, then do the same with the other rope. Now wrap both of them the rest of the way. You may need to loop it under itself and bring it back up, then hook it onto the cleat. Make sure the door shuts and secure the lock back on the pole. Your flag is now rotated. Here are some important safety concerns to keep in mind. Take a look at the pole. Does everything look okay? Does the rope look like it should? Is it fraying? Can you see the cable on the inside of the rope? If any wear and tear looks excessive, then you shouldn't delay in replacing your rope. Flags of this size should be changed at least every 30 days because of wear and tear. Bigger flags are more easily ripped by the wind. If it is a windy day, remember that a flag being raised or lowered while blowing over a building, next to power lines, or toward a busy street could easily cause an accident. It's better to wait on working with your flag until there are calmer conditions. Also, besides wind problems, flag poles attract lightning, so don't attempt to raise or lower your flag in thunderstorm conditions. Remember to keep the fittings tight and make sure they are not worn down. Spectators should be kept at least 20 to 30 feet away from where you are working with your flag. Remember safety first. Protect yourself with a hard hat. Gloves are recommended to avoid rope burns and to help get a grip on the rope. Also, be careful and pay attention to what you are doing.